If you have been following my channel for some time, you might have noticed that I like Mistral models a lot. The reason is of their quality and open source nature. Just few hours ago, Mistral has released the base pre-trained raw model of Mistral 7 billion version 2, which is the base model of Mistral 7 billion v2 instruct one. When we say that a model is a base model or a pre-trained model, it means that the model is a neural network that has been previously trained on a large data set to understand or process general patterns, information or tasks. But, and this is the important bit, but the model has not yet been fine-tuned for specific applications. So a base model is a raw model, which is really of no use. But if you fine tune it on your own custom data, then it has a lot of value. Such a model, the base model, leverages deep learning techniques to establish a foundational understanding of languages, images, sounds, and other data types, making it versatile for a wide range of applications. By training on vast amount of data, these models learn to perform tasks like recognizing speech, understanding natural language, or a lot of other things. This pre-trained state of a model serves as a starting point, enabling developers and researchers to further specialize the model on more narrow tasks or data sets with significantly less data and computational resources than would be required to train a model from scratch. So if you're a company or an individual which is looking to have their own model trained on their own custom proprietary data. So you don't have to create a model from scratch. All you need to do is to pick up a base pre-trained model and then simply fine tune that model on your custom data set. For the purpose of this video, I will be showing how you can install or use this base raw model locally on your system. And in the next video, I will show you how you can actually fine tune this Mistral base model on your own data set. So let's get started. I will be using my own Ubuntu local system for this purpose. So let me log into my Ubuntu. I'm using Ubuntu 22.04 for this purpose. So let me clear my screen. And also I will be using uh, one GPU card of 16 GB VRAM plus I have 32 GB of memory. Let me clear my screen. Now, in order to get it installed, let me download and install some of the prerequisites. So I'm installing uh, Xformers, TRL, Path to Accelerate, Bits and Bytes. I have already uh, done a few videos where I go into the detail as what exactly these libraries are. So let's wait for this one to finish. So this is already done. But just to but just to give you a quick idea what exactly these libraries are, so Xformer is a library focused on efficient transformers, offering modular and highly optimized components for building transformer models that are scalable. TRL stands for Transformers Reinforcement Learning, and it provides tools for applying reinforcement learning to fine-tune transformer-based language models using feedback from human interactions or other signals. Then we have PEFT which is again a parameter efficient fine tuning a library and accelerate is a library from hugging face to simplify and streamline the process of training deep learning models across cpu gpu and tpu whereas bits and bytes is optimized implementation of certain operations especially it deals with custom cuda kernels okay so that's out of the way we have prerequisites installed let me go to my python interpreter after clearing the screen and let me first import some of the model uh, auto model for causal lm and auto tokenizer and now let me specify the model name now this is important bit as you can see i'm just using the quantized version of this new mistral 7 billion base which has uh, been generously created by unsloth so this is a, a base model which has been released by uh, Mistral and Alpindale on Hugging Face, and this is the quantized version of Mistral 7 billion by Unsloth. 
and the creator is daniel han so thanks a lot daniel for this contest version for creating it so quickly because it is just few hours old okay cool so we already have specified the model name here now let's download our model and as i mentioned earlier i am simply using this auto model for a casual llm class and i'm just using an 8-bit quantization and you can see that the model has started downloading the size is just over 4 gig so let's wait for it to finish the eta is around under three minutes but it depends on the internet speed so let's wait for it to finish and as you can see that the model is almost downloaded just under 30 second remain and thankfully there is only one tensor there let's wait for it to finish and the model is loaded and then we have an error there let me fix that error so the error here was simple as you can see in my previous command i was passing it this load in 8 bit, uh, 8 bit true but the error was uh, but it told me that it was already a quantization it already had the quantization config so need, no need to pass it so i removed that from here and i have just rerun it and it has uh, completed successfully so that is good now next uh, get our tokenizer for this and we'll just simply use auto tokenizer for it so this is auto tokenizer with the model name let me press enter and you can see that tokenizer is also done that is good let me specify a simple prompt because it's a base model so don't expect any uh, you know sensible responses but let, let's complete the loop so i'm just creating the input passed it to tokenizer to convert text to tokens and now let's generate the output from this base model you can ignore this warning because it's a quantized version let's wait for it to come back it's gonna take too long it's done let me press a couple of enters so i have decoded the output of the model let me print it out there you go so i just set it high there and it is just telling me something you know blah 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 but i am a 14 year old male and have been suffering from a variety of system you know, so it is just from its own raw data which it has been trained on so as i mentioned earlier uh, this is just a base model so it won't really give you any sensible responses now in order to get any sensible responses you would need to fine tune this model on a specific domain and that is what we are going to do in our next video i hope that you enjoyed it uh, now at least you can download and uh, you know get this base model ready on your local system next step is to get your data set fine tune this on on it and then you will have either an instruction tuned model on or a, a chat model on the basis of this base model how good is that that's it. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it. If you are stuck or are having any issues, let me know and I'll be happy to help. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.